and welcome back to the Semiconductor Leadership Podcast. This is your host, Salah Nazri, bringing you another episode of our Quick Chip series, where we dive into the stories behind the giants of the semiconductor industry. And today, we are shining the spotlight on a pivotal player. Lamb Research. So grab your coffee and settle in as we uncover some of the surprising facets of this key innovator in semiconductor manufacturing. Now let's go back in time and discuss, excuse me, discuss the beginnings of Lamb Research. Now, Lamb Research might be a household name today in the semiconductor world, but its beginnings were quite humble believe it or not. Founded in 1980 by a gentleman by the name of Dr. David K. Lamb, a former research director at Applied Materials, Lamb started in a small rented warehouse in Fremont, California. And what's less known is that Dr. Lamb was the first Chinese American to found a semiconductor company in Silicon Valley, breaking cultural and industrial boundaries right from the start and now moving swiftly into the innovations and industry firsts element is that while LAM is renowned for its etch and deposition products, not everyone knows that LAM was instrumental in developing the first commercially viable auto etch system. And this system fundamentally changed how circuits are etched onto silicon wafers, improving not only the speed, but also the precision, which was crucial as the industry moved towards smaller microchip architectures. Now, what's interesting in, is that in the mid-90s, LAM launched the TCP 9600 SE. And this was basically utilizing transformer coupled plasma for etching. And this machine was a game changer for, the, for, for producing high density integrated circuits at a time when the tech industry was demanding ever more power from ever smaller chips. There are some surprising facts about LAM research that you may not know about that is that during the 2008 financial crisis, while many companies were downsizing, LAM Research made strategic acquisitions and increased their R&D spending. And this bold move actually allowed them to leapfrog competitors when the economy started to recover. And here's a quirky one, right? Um, it caught me by surprise. Lamb Research was actually featured in a comic book designed to educate young readers about the magic of microchips. Yes, that's right, a comic book. Making semiconductor manufacturing cool long before STEM education became a global trend. So the question is, is what's the future for Lamb? And it's very evident, you know, looking forward, LAM research isn't slowing down. With a recent boom in semiconductor demand, they are expanding their production capabilities and investing heavily in the next generation of etch and deposition technologies. They're also deeply involved in sustainability efforts, aiming to make semiconductor manufacturing more environmentally friendly. So yes, that wraps up today's episode of Quick Chip on LAM Research. I mean, of course, we've seen how they've navigated the past and they're pioneering the present and are preparing for a sustainable future. So for more insights into the leading companies shaping our digital world make sure you follow the semiconductor leadership podcast on spotify and youtube and uh, i'm salah nazari and uh, i'll see you in the next episode of the semiconductor leadership podcast take care and bye for now